Hi, I'm Bob Keeshan, and welcome to CBS Story Break. We're all familiar with the story of Cinderella. The author of today's book grew up hearing a different version from her grandmother, a Chinese Cinderella story, one that's a thousand years older than the one we know. I think you'll find the difference is surprising. Based on Ai Ling Lui's book, here is Ye Shen, a Cinderella story from China. has a pretty face, if you can see it. I'm looking for a beautiful wife, not a pretty servant. May I help you carry your heavy burden? No, thank you. I'm quite strong. Going to the festival? Perhaps. Perhaps then I'll see you there. Perhaps. I'll see you at the festival. <laughs> I look forward to the festival. All the beauties will be there, and I will pick the prettiest to be my wife. Ye Shen was flirting with them. Shocking. Disgusting. What did I do to deserve a stepdaughter like that? You can't let Ye Shen go to the festival. I can't handle that kind of competition. <laughs> Ye Shen, you worthless orphan. What is it, stepmother? We saw you out there shamelessly flirting. It was a sorry day when I took you in. She should be punished. Good idea, my dear, sweet, unmarried daughter. Since you were too busy to work, here's all the breakfast you deserve. Now go, do the wash. Hello, Gold Eyes. I saved some rice for you. Have you had your share? Yes. I'm a lucky fish to have a friend like you. And I'm lucky to have you for a friend. My only friend. At the festival, you meet a very special friend. The festival is what I dream about most. Dancing, meeting someone who will love me. And will take you away from that miserable stepmother. Yes, that too. You deserve a much better life. Someday you'll have it, I promise you. Now, let's do the wash. get a husband if you believe in talking fish. But it's true, it's true. Come see for yourself. This is an extraordinary fish. But do we need to talk to a fish? Yes. No, we don't. What could a fish tell us? The water is wet? No. So, do we need a fish to do a wash? Yes. No, we don't. Yes, Shen does a wash. However, do we need a fish to provide food? No. Yes, we do. Thank you for helping me. Bye-bye. I'll wait for your return. Perhaps you need an owl to help you hang the wash. We need more firewood. Go to the forest, the far side of the forest, and gather some. But it will take me all day to go to the far side. I want the wood from the far side. Burns longer. You can run both ways. But before you go, take off your filthy coat. My coat is clean, stepmother. I won't have the neighbors seeing you in anything so filthy. It should have been in the wash. Off with it. So soon, Ye Shen. Seems you can talk. Perhaps you can tell me the best way to cook you. Mm -hmm. 
You're late for supper. I came as fast as I could. The forest was so far away. Stack the wood. You missed the best dinner we ever had. It was a fish dinner. You should have been the one to cook it. You bought a fish? I caught a fish. In the pond. A fat fish with golden eyes. And it kept calling your name. Yeshen, Yeshen, tell him to use more soy sauce. <laughs> no, no. We saved the best part for you. I'm sorry for what happened to you, Gold Eyes. It's my fault. It's not your fault, Yeshen. It was my fate. Who said that? I did. It's me, Gold Eyes. I'm just bones now, but magical bones. You've been such a good friend. I want to return your kindness. I must, or I cannot journey to the pond of my forefathers. <laughs> Mother and stepsister? Did they share me with you? No. This gift is from me to you. Too slow, too slow. No supper for you tonight. Oh, gold eyes. I'm tired and I've had no supper. Ask me for something more. This is all I need. Are you fattening up another fish for us, Yeshen? Oh, my feet are so muddy! Don't you know how to do wash, stupid girl? No supper for you! It isn't fair for them to treat you this way. I know, but I was an orphan. They gave me a home. You give them more than they give you. Let me do things for you. Ask for the laundry to be done, the fruit to be picked, the gardening, the scrubbing, and they will be done. But I don't mind doing those things, for now, because I hope to find my true love at the festival. If that is your destiny. Gorgeous! Gorgeous! You'll be the most beautiful unmarried maiden at the festival! Oh, Mother! Will I really be the most beautiful girl there? Providing no other girls come. Ye Shen, do you think I'll find a husband there? Yes. There'll be music and dancing. The young men will be looking carefully at the young women, selecting brides. And one of the men, perhaps the handsomest one, will ask you to be his bride. I'll be with you and help you all I can. Did anyone say you were going to the festival? You promised I could go. It's all I had to look forward to. I promise you that every year. And I keep my promise you will go to the festival. Oh, thank you. Next year, or the year after, or the year after that. Isn't that nice of me? Very decent of you, Mother. <laughs> And don't you budge out of this cave, or you'll get the beating of your life, understand? Yes, stepmother. Let me hear positive thinking. I will find a husband. I will be a bride. I will find a husband. I will be a bride. Oh, dear friend, I know now I'll never go to the festival. All your dreams will come true. You must go. I will take you. Where are you? Oh. 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 And don't you budge out of this cave or you'll get the beating of your life, understand? Yes, stepmother. Let me hear positive thinking. I will find a husband. I will be a bride. 
I will find a husband. I will be a bride. Oh, dear friend, I know now I'll never go to the festival. All your dreams will come true. You must go. I will take you. the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. Who is she? I don't know. I'll ask her. How can you ignore this fine example of, 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 they're the prize winner. She'll get the handsomest, richest husband. She'll make her mother a very happy woman. Why can't you look like that? Because I was born to you. No! Hmm, she looks familiar to me. She is familiar, like a queen, a princess. Must be a member of the royal family. Look at her gold slippers. They're priceless. Where have you come from? From a place so distant, it could be right under your nose. May I ask your name? It is the same as that of a long-departed ancestor. May I know the name of that honored ancestor? You would have to ask her. <laughs> <laughs> may I presume that you are an unmarried person? You may presume that, but the day is young. You are the most beautiful creature on Earth. Perhaps if you were to dance with me, we might help the day age gracefully. She's probably got nothing to do all day but take dancing lessons and be waited on by servants. I hate to say this. Doesn't she bear the smallest resemblance to our own Ye Shen? Preposterous. <laughs> but I do see the resemblance. Let me take a closer look. Now what? Close your eyes and don't open them until I tell you. your eyes on this. Where is she? Gone. Something is strange. Could you look after my precious unmarried daughter till I return? The other slipper. I must find the other slipper. I've lost it. I've lost it. Gold Eyes, tell me, please, where is the other slipper? Oh, Gold Eyes, now I've lost you. Yeah, Shen, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be working back at the cave. I, I just wanted to see the festival from a distance. You've seen enough. Go home now. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Most splendid. Most unusual. Is there a mate to this? I searched the forest but did not find another. I'll buy it. It'll be a gift to a lady, to a king.
Oh, you're great and wise for your years, Highness. I bring a most remarkable gift, the likes of which have never been seen. Thank you, loyal merchant. It is truly remarkable. Who made this slipper? I do not know, Excellency. It was found in the forest. This slipper is so marvelous, I am convinced it was made for a woman of great beauty and wealth. I will find this woman. Next! I've searched everywhere, but I can't find it. Please tell me what to do. Yeah, Shen! Who are you talking to? No one, stepmother. I've always known something was wrong with you. Go to sleep. I want you to scrub this cave spotless in the morning. Excuse me, I'm looking for a golden slipper. Do you know if anyone has found such a thing? Everyone wants the golden slipper. He found it. Excuse me, I'm told you found a golden slipper. Yes, I did, in the forest. May I see it? I sold it to the merchant. Sir, I am told you have a golden slipper. Yes, a most beautiful item. What is your interest in it? May I buy it from you? <laughs> That's not only funny, but impossible. You see, I gave it as a gift to the king. Then I must acquire it from the king. <laughs> the king is so entranced by it, he'll never give it up. In fact, he'd give anything to find the young woman whose foot fits it. All females in the kingdom are flocking to the palace to try it on. Why not join them? Thank you, sir. I shall. Look at this one in rags. Shall I throw her out, Captain? No, the sight of her trying on the slipper might amuse the king. Yes, that's it. Your Highness, I recognize that slipper. To whom does it belong? To the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. Tell me her name. I don't know it. She ran off before I could find out. But she captured my heart. I've only seen her slipper, but she captured my heart too. Where did you see her? At the village festival. I thought she was clearly of royal lineage. Then we must go there. Captain, no more try-ons. Come with me. That's all. You may leave. Stop! Get her! No! No! The slipper belongs to my friend. I have to return it to him. To him? Am I to believe a man has a foot so tiny and dainty? My friend is a fish. Your friend is a fish? Then your fish has a crazy friend. Throw her into a dungeon! No! No! You must listen to me! A girl in rags tried to steal the slipper. Said the slipper belonged to her fish. I had her thrown in a dungeon. Hmm. The slipper design is very much like the scales of a fish. Poor girl. Have her released in the morning. By order of the king, you are freed. Get out and stay away from the golden slipper. My people! This beautiful and valuable slipper has been lost by someone. Will the owner please come forward? Your Supreme Highness, my daughter lost her slipper at this very place on her way home from a lute lesson. Put your foot in it, honey. <laughs> it always was a little snug. Next. I'm next. No, you're not. But, uh... Out! I believe we might have frightened off the rightful owner by our presence. Let's leave the slipper here, hide nearby, and see what happens. That's the same girl who tried to steal it yesterday. I'll have her thrown into prison forever. No, wait! She's stealing it. Now I'll get her. 
No! Perhaps she's taking it for her mistress. Let's just follow her, see what she does. Yes, Your Highness. She will be surrounded at all times. My people! This beautiful and valuable slipper has been lost by someone. Will the owner please come forward? Your Supreme Highness, my daughter lost her slipper at this very place on her way home from a lute lesson. Put your foot in it, honey. <laughs> it always was a little snug. Next. I'm next. No, you're not. But, uh... Out! I believe we might have frightened off the rightful owner by our presence. Let's leave the slipper here, hide nearby, and see what happens. That's the same girl who tried to steal it yesterday. I'll have her thrown into prison forever. No, wait! She's stealing it. Now I'll get her. No! Perhaps she's taking it for her mistress. Let's just follow her, see what she does. Yes, Your Highness. She will be surrounded at all times. Aha! She's hiding in the cave. Shall we arrest her? No, wait! Not yet! My friend, the precious golden slippers are together again. Now you can return to the pond of your forefathers. Mother, look what she has! You've stolen the king's slipper, you little thief! No, please, don't take them! <gasps> A matching pair! Our fortune is made! This is our ticket out of the cave! Please, the slippers must be together so Gold Eyes can go to the pond of his forefathers. I have a better idea. I'll take both slippers and sell them to the king for a handsome price. It's wrong for you to have them. You little nothing orphan! Stop! The king! And the handsomest one! We caught the thief, your highness. I will punish her for the rest of her life. Who are you? The worst stepdaughter a stepmother could be cursed with. What is your name? Ye Shen. Ye Shen. What are these slippers to you? They are my friend, my poor dead fish, Gold Eyes. That's it. She has to be put away. Please, explain. Gold Eyes changed his bones into magic slippers so I could go to the festival. But I feared I'd be found out, so I ran away and lost one slipper. The slippers must be placed together, or my friend is doomed never to join his forefathers. Then do so. But first, place them on your feet. the one I danced with. Thank you, Yishin. Now I can go. Your dreams are about to come true. Farewell, my friend. He was a good-eating fish. I'll say that for him. Well, Yishin, take off the slippers and the rest of it. I'm your guardian. They belong to me. No! Yishin is a free person. Your friend, the mystical fish, has brought me into your life for a reason. I would be honored if you would be my queen. If I am destined to be your queen, then I am happy beyond belief. I will do everything to fulfill your trust and love. Isn't it wonderful? I certainly brought her up right. We'll come visit you at the palace, Yeshen, my dear! So Yeshen and the king lived happily ever after, but her wicked stepmother and stepsister were caught in a cave-in and never heard from again. And if you liked Yeshen, the Library of Congress thinks you'd enjoy these other books, too. Tattercoats, an old English tale by Flora Annie Steele, and Cinderella by the Brothers Grimm. 
Your local library and bookstore will help you read more about it. And be sure to join us next time for another CBS Story Break.